I was on the phone with ground paramedics on the East Coast, so New York, New Jersey, and guiding them through some of the health questions um, for exposure or risk of exposure, and hearing the fear and anxiety in their voices, I knew that it was going to be significant. I think what makes this crisis difficult from other experiences that I've had as a healthcare professional is the unknown. With this, there's been a sense of we don't understand it, we're learning and we're getting better, um, but especially in the beginning, I think there was a lot of um, fear from the unknown. I went into nursing school in the very beginning because I knew that I wanted to be a flight nurse. I wake up every day and I make a choice. How am I gonna feel today? Am I going to rise to the occasion or am I going to um, let the, the fear and anxiety overwhelm me? So for me, it's very much a choice, which was right in line with choosing healthcare. Been a nurse for almost 14 years now and been flying for 10 years. And um, I would have thought that I had seen the majority of things. And I can tell you this is something that I've never experienced either personally or professionally before. I do think it's changed me for a better person though. I think it's made me more resilient and will continue to make me more resilient. Um, it's made me a better leader because I've needed to clearly communicate. Personally though, I feel like I have the tools to overcome any challenge that comes next. When I'm on the flight line, it gives me that ability to impact somebody's life and their health. And um, that's a huge responsibility, but it's also really satisfying to, to have a hand in the outcome of somebody's health. And then also in interacting with those family members and understanding that they're trusting me with their loved one. But it's really, really rewarding at the end of that transport when we've been able to get um, that grandmother or that grandfather uh, to the higher level of care safely. I've gone away from this um, fulfilled, even through the challenges and through um, the uncertainty. There's a lot of satisfaction and fulfillment in being able to uh, be a positive force um, of influence. Whatever the future has in store, um, I'm optimistic to be able to continue to serve our patients. I'm optimistic about the lessons that I've learned from this and will continue to learn. And I think that we'll be more resilient because of it. I come away with the understanding that we have future challenges. And even though these are trying times and it's unknown, we're gonna learn lessons that are ultimately gonna make us better people, for me, a better clinician, and stronger in the end.